Sam came home from a business trip one day and he said, Ann, I had the most interesting conversation with a gentleman I was sitting next to uh, on the airplane and he said, we were discussing how there are so many diseases that develop uh, as you get older. And he said, you know, we, we came to one conclusion and that's the disease that everybody gets is aging. And he said, I'm gonna talk to Dr. Cigaroa, I have an idea. And he said, I'm gonna talk to him about doing some research on aging. That was, I guess, the little light bulb that ignited the beginnings of the Ann and Sam Bar Shop uh, Institute for Aging and Research. Dr. Moosey, who is a, a, a tenured professor at the Long School of Medicine, and he was able to recruit a remarkable group of uh, men and women scientists who, who have gained national recognition, recognition for their, for their uh, outstanding uh, achievements in aging and related diseases. And I have to tell you, Sam was very hands-on and he, he would have been so proud of uh, Dr. Veronica Galvin who was just made a fellow of the uh, American Aging Association, and Dr. Bess Frost, who, uh, who received the McDonnell Award from the uh, Academy of uh, Medicine, Engineering, Science, and Technology. Uh, well, he would have been just very proud of those young men and women, all of whom have dedicated their, their lives to improving the quality of life for everyone. And, of course, Dr. Uh, Bill, Hen uh, Bill Henrich, who, because of his extraordinary efforts, has uh, moved, the moved us to the location right in the heart of the Health Science Center and close to a lot of the other research that's being done here. So we're very happy about, uh, about the new location. So this is a legacy that meant a lot to my father. He was very proud of the Institute and he remained actively involved. So Bruce and me and um, dad's grandchildren, Ben and Samantha, and his great grandchildren and future members of our family, you know, can share in the pride of this incredible Institute. And we hope that the contributions that it's making in the future will, you know, aid in good health and prosperity, productivity. Uh, you know, the, this, uh, the issues that the Aging Institute, the Barshop Institute are tackling are growing pr uh, issues worldwide. Uh, it's an international um, concern of the uh, various diseases of aging as the population gets older. Uh, just this week uh, in The Economist magazine, there was a special section talking about how unrecognized the issue of dementia is as not only a, uh, a medical problem, but an economic problem and a social problem, and how important it is for those that the issues surrounding dementia and disability uh, caused by aging. Uh, to be to gain wider wider acceptance as a, as something that needs to be addressed. Um, we're also very proud that the the Barshop Institute uh, has achieved na international recognition as one of the great uh, research institutes in this field. Uh, it, it's the only institute in the U.S. that's both a Pepper Center and a Shock Center, as well as having additional recognition by the National Institute of Aging and the Veterans Administration. So it's, it's achieved some very special successes that are important to us. It would have been fun for uh, um, Bruce and Jamie to come in the beginning because Sam was always, ha as I said, hands-on and we'd go out to the, uh, to the research park and we'd have lunches with the uh, scientists and they'd tell us you know, give us an idea of what they were doing and they'd interact with each other. <laughs> and we started a sort of staple. Before every lunch, we'd have our Fountain of Youth pomegranate cocktail. 
And that became a staple of all the lunches, and we used to laugh about it. And I've really forgotten about it, and I'm going to start doing it again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Once or twice a year, I bring people from other parts of the country to tour the Bar Shop Institute with the help of Nick and the staff. And uh, the reactions I get are just remarkable. Uh, they're, they're so impressed. And probably the number one reaction is, why don't more people know about this? This is a, a great resource for San Antonio and for the country. Uh, and um, every one of them has walked away with, uh, uh, with a very fond view of the, of the Institute. He's looking down and saying, you know, good job, everybody. 